As a physiotherapist, clients often confront me with some huge myths about health and specifically about physiotherapy. Today I'm going to put on my myth busters cap and dispose of the top four myths that most people have about physiotherapy. Now don't worry if you thought you believed in some of these myths. There is a lot of misinformation available on the internet today and it's very easy to be led down the wrong pathway. Not only that, but as you'll find out, as I bust these four myths, even medical professionals fall for these myths. In fact, let me relay a quick story to you. A friend of mine recently had abdominal surgery and after the surgery, she was given a breathing apparatus known as an incentive spirometer. Her surgeon told her that each hour she should blow into this breathing apparatus and try and make all four balls move. The surgeon said that it would help her to recover quicker from her operation and even results in a lower chance of post-surgery complications. Being the good student that my friend is, she followed the surgeon's advice and used the incentive spirometer. A few days after, she was out from the hospital and I was visiting her and spotted the device. I immediately asked her what she was using it for. When she explained to me that her surgeon recommended it, I stopped in shock. You see, I knew it was a complete myth that incentive spirometers prevent complications and help with recovery from abdominal or even cardiac surgery. This is a myth which is helped to perpetuate by surgeons and doctors worldwide still using these devices. The fact is, there is no clinical research to back up the use of incentive spirometers. And there is research that show they don't work. It's appalling, isn't it, to realise just how easily we can fall victim to a health or physiotherapy myth. Now, I know many of you are saying that you'll probably never need abdominal surgery, so not knowing the truth in this case won't hurt you. But that isn't the case with some of these next myths to come. What I've come to realise as a physiotherapist is that large global brands will do and say anything to incentivise you to buy from them. One example I like to use is the example of the type of mattress which you sleep on. Mattress brands around the world would like you to believe that the type of mattress you sleep on can help prevent back pain. I'm sure you've heard this before. I'm sure you've even seen some advertising that leads to this conclusion. It's a myth. The reality is there is no research which connects back pain and mattress types together. 80% of people suffer from back pain at some point in their life. So it's good for a brand to be able to market to the demographic like this. But the reality is the type of mattress you sleep on doesn't help to lower your chance of back pain. Now I know that may come as a shock to some of you, especially those of you who have already invested heavily in cutting edge technology mattresses. The myths don't stop there though. Here's another great one, probably one you were introduced to at high school via your PE teacher or sporting coach. Have you ever been told that stretching prevents injury and muscle soreness? Well, if you've heard this before, then you've heard another physiotherapy myth. Millions of people a year get their exercise from running. Often these recreational runners are told they should warm up with stretching and cool down with stretching. The reality is that reviews and research has proven that this makes no difference in muscle soreness or injury prevention. Let me say that again, stretching does not prevent injury and muscle soreness in recreational runners. So the next time you want to go out for a jog, feel free to do so without stretching. Another great myth which I see constantly perpetuated in movies and by celebrities is around neck injuries. Did you know that in 60% of road accidents, whiplash occurs? Have you ever seen someone in a movie, on the TV or in real life wearing a neck brace? Well, here's another myth for you. The myth is that a neck brace will help recovery from a whiplash neck injury. Unfortunately, like all the other myths I'm busting today, this just isn't true. There is no clinical research which links neck braces with faster recovery from whiplash. So 
What other myths are you wrongly adhering to? What else do you understand to be true which is really a myth? Possibly you should have already seen a physiotherapist for an injury or niggle, but you didn't because of some misguided belief system installed into you. All I can recommend is that you get professional advice and professional help from people who are leaders in their fields. As a good friend once said to me, you don't know what you don't know.